You know, a lot of women put off having children to focus on their careers only to find out later in life that they are no longer able to get pregnant. It sometimes can be seemingly insignificant decisions, like apparently what kind of lipstick to wear, that can adversely affect fertility many years later. So my colleague, CNN anchor and correspondent Kira Phillips, know this firsthand. She is the proud mother of now four-year-old twins, but this was not an easy process. And so Kira turned everything she learned all along the way into this incredible new book. It's called The Whole Life Fertility Plan, which has all kinds of science for the ladies <laughs> and the men. And it's so great. great advice. To, it, you know, we know around CNN, there's like this, we know when I look at you, you are always like trying to encourage women and empower women. And here, finally, <laughs> you wrote a book. Congratulations. And the, thank you so much. I, I, you know, I spent, well, you know, we spend our whole lives like as soon as we know, I knew when I was a little kid I wanted to be a journalist. Yeah. So you spend your teens and your 20s and your 30s really trying to pursue the dream. And it takes a lot to get to this level. And unfortunately for women, that means they a lot of times they have to sacrifice love and relationships and family and children yeah. because you got to be able to take that job and go whenever you can. And you know, I, I was covering the war in Iraq. I, I was going through a divorce. I had lost everything in my home due to a flood. A pipe had busted upstairs. And I was just sitting on my front porch at 40 thinking, oh my God, mm. I completely blew it. And, and I had a huge anxiety attack. And there was nothing out there for me to read or to look at to make me feel better. Mm -hmm. And I decided to do the fertility thing on my own. And thank goodness I met my husband and he was open to it. Mm -hmm. And now we have these you know, beautiful twins that um, light up our lives. But I wanted to put something together for women of all ages, from the youngest to mid-career to geriatric moms like me. That's Please. what I'm called. Please. That's what I'm called, by the way. <laughs> to, not, to embrace the fertility process and feel good about it and be empowered. Howard. So I'll share something because I hadn't even talked to you about it and I just didn't even share it with anyone because I did this two years ago and I thought this wasn't that big of a thing anymore, but I froze my eggs. I <laughs> you were very smart. Two summers ago and I just wanted to share with all of you ladies out there, it's not a scary thing if you don't mind syringes a little bit twice a day. <laughs> and this was actually at my parents' house. I gathered all my dear you know, friends and family together because it is a big deal and it is a big decision and I thought about it a ton, a ton, a ton. And that was my first injection in in my stomach and that was all the drugs they send you in the mail and you know it's it's a really serious thing i think i was i'm 35 now and i was I had somebody special with me who supported me the whole time and went with me every day and you talk about in your book about you know having to shoot yourself up in the back of cars or on stories i was speaking That's at a right. college commencement and had to get a, a tsa letter because i had all these <laughs> shots i had to take with me but it was it was worth it and thank you cnn because hello insurance covered a lot of it yeah yeah and, and that that's a blessing and a lot of companies are paying for it for their female yes. um, employees and i'm really glad you decided to to share the fact that you did it because i I think that women need to know it's okay and it doesn't have to be scary and you're putting your DNA on ice because we can carry babies Brooke much later in life but you Hallelujah. don't have healthy fabulous eggs later in life yeah. so at a nice ripe age like you in your 30s you yeah. know you put those beautiful eggs on ice and then when you are ready you've got it there so many women I could count on my my fingers here at CNN and beyond who that are doing have, it do, are doing it have done it and, and I think it is empowering and I thank you for you know that thump 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 for many years about <laughs> about wanting to do it beyond that the preservation of eggs chapter you talk also about like chemicals and lipsticks and oh, shower yes. curtains and plastics that all affect this right definitely had and, no idea well and and, and there's the, the beauty of, of this book that young gals can start reading about what they can do differently so they don't get to a point where they have to go through uh, fertility treatments. I mean, our cosmetics, there's lead in lipstick. I mean, lead, uh, high amounts of lead leads to miscarriages. Mm -hmm. um, over exercise, being underweight, all these things impact um, conception. Um, alcohol, what you drink, recreational drugs. And we talk about men as well and what impacts them because there are many men that don't realize mm -hmm. they're the problem, it's not the women.